Namaste and welcome to our pranayam session. Let's begin by coming into any comfortable seated position, any meditative pose of your choice. If you are familiar with lotus pose, half lotus, the cross leg position, swastikasana, vajrasana, any pose of your choice. Keeping your spine straight and sitting upright. Roll your shoulders and bring them down. Relax your neck completely. Dhyana mudra of your hands. Let's chant initial prayers. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bhunatu Sahaviryam Karvavahai Tejasvina Vadhita Mastu Ma Vidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Welcome to the practice and today you have an option now depending on what are your needs regarding on improvement of your breathing you can choose viloma breathing the interrupted breath where you breathe in like steps or you can go for deep abdominal and chest breathing both happens at the count of four so you have a choice today you can choose any one practice of your choice for first few seconds to improvise on the inhalation and exhalation part and also to prepare ourselves for the next practice so you have an option to choose from deep abdominal or chest or clavicular breathing or all the three together or you can go for the interrupted viloma breathing right so i'm going to do the deep breaths and i'm going to give you the count as well for first few seconds and then you can do it on your own for some time keeping your spine straight mudra of your choice Chin is parallel to the floor. Make sure you're not bending forward. Your neck should be a stable distance. Observing the natural flow of your breath before we start any practice. Just bringing your connection with your breathing, bringing your mind to the natural rhythmic flow of your breath. Now you can start with the practice of your choice, Viloma breathing or deep abdominal breathing. Let's begin. Inhale, 1, 2, 3, 4. Exhale, 1, 2, 3, 4. Inhale, 1, 2, 3, 4. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. And relax. Very good. Gently opening your eyes and let's move to the next practice today. Bastrika and we're going to add one new pranayam to it today and the combination of two is really good for keeping your immunity strong prevent you from allergies cold and cough we have had many case studies where people had chronic issues of allergy cold and cough in any changing weather but having done this pranayam for up to a month 
they were able to manage their conditions or they were able to also completely get cured of it so this practice is called as surya bhedan now this is a heating practice again so it it falls in the category of the dynamic or energizing breath work that we are doing although now the actions are not like how we do in bastrika or kapalabhati but still uh, at some point we will try to discuss the theory on what is this surya and chandra in our body so we know why we practice this alternate nostril breathing as well but for now this is a heating or the dynamic practice so very good again for the cleansing and energizing the body so what is surya bhedan basically in surya bhedan we take the pranam mudra with our right hand exactly the way you take in anulom vilom and just we do something different now we start by inhaling from our right nostril first and then we close our right nostril and we exhale through the left nostril right this is one round of surya bhedan then again we close the left and then we inhale through the right so there is no cycle happening here like alternate nostril breathing we inhale through right exhale left inhale right exhale left right so this is surya bhedan pranayam so what we are going to do now this can be also done individually however to get the more benefits in lesser span of time we are going to safely combine it with bastrika so we are going to do the fast breathing for Uh, let's say 30 to 40 strokes or as much as you can and then we are going to immediately as we stop we are going to follow it up with surya bhedan so i'm going to quickly demonstrate a shorter round like this for example if you are doing basrika and now i'm done with basrika immediately close the nostril the left one inhale right and exhale left so please do not get confused with the mirror image that you have i'm using my selfie camera so maybe you you can perceive it as a left so make sure you are you are using your right side and inhaling through your right nostril right so let's do that and this is really good uh, practice that will freshen up you immediately so let's begin let's start with few rounds of basrika first closing your eyes drona mudra of your hands inhale deeply exhale completely and let's begin and close the left nostril and inhale right exhale left inhale right exhale left inhale right exhale left inhale right exhale left and relax fantastic i'm sure you have many questions regarding how many rounds when to start and how many rounds you know you have to inhale and exhale in surya bhedan today i'm just making you familiar with the practice tomorrow we will do it exactly as per the ratios and uh, more detail part of it today i just want you to add on this and get familiar with the practice so now it doesn't mean that you have to wait for my basrika to get over to start your next practice if you stop your basrika any time in between before me start this surya vedan right so for second round if you feel tired before we are supposed to like you know end the practice start your rounds of surya vedan that's when it has maximum benefits the moment you stop immediately you take this and you will notice as you practice more that how deeper and nicely you can inhale and exhale that's also adding up to your whole benefit part Let's do one more round of this to get familiar with the combination practice. We are going to do basrika. Whenever you stop your basrika, make sure you start the surya bhedan, right? So let's begin. Inhale. 
Again, keeping your eyes closed, spine straight, breath relaxed. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out completely. And let's begin. And relax. Taking a prana mudra with your right hand. Inhale right. Exhale left. 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 And slowly bring your hands down. Fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this new practice. Or maybe you got a little more tired, but every experience was important to grow in the practice. Nevertheless, let's move to the next part. Alternate nostril breathing, Anulom Vilom. Sometimes if your practice gets tiring as we increase the number of rounds, uh, I had mentioned that in the initial days, I am repeating that tip again, try to keep your elbow closer to your chest so that is a less tiring experience. Sometimes if the hand goes, for example, the hand goes like this far from the body, uh, over the period of time there will be some stiffness in the shoulder or hand. So just a small tip where you can bring your elbows closer so it's nicely the the upper arm is supported and less likely you'll be able to do um, there'll be less pain and you'll be able to do more rounds of this okay so let's begin keeping your spine straight sitting upright we're going to inhale from one nostril at the count of four and exhale in eight at any point if this is more for you stick to four and six closing your right nostril prana mudra with your right hand Another hand in Dhyana Mudra. With more focus today, with more mindfulness on the whole practice, if mind travels elsewhere on some thoughts, bring it back on the quality of your breath. Let's begin. Closing your right nostril. Inhale left. Two, three, four. Right exhale. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Right inhale, two, three, four. Left exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left inhale, two, three, four, right exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right inhale, two, three, four, left exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, left inhale, two, three, four, right exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right inhale, two, three, four, left exhale, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven eight left inhale two three four right exhale two three four five six seven eight right inhale two three four left exhale two three four five six seven eight gently bringing your right hand down stay here for a few seconds with your eyes closed observing the beautiful after effects or whatever you experience any kind of sensation just observe it stay there with the practice you're still connected to your breath natural breathing gently open your eyes very nice let's move to ujjayi breathing that we learned yesterday again just a quick reminder on how to do the practice we are going to contract our throat muscle which we usually call as the glottis don't worry if you're not familiar with these terms but you have to focus on your throat and as if you are contracting it gently not very forceful action here just a gentle contraction as if the wind is flowing through the pipe is what you have to visualize and remember the example of fogging the mirror <sighs> same action you do with your mouth closed and that makes it ujjayi inhalations and exhalations same technique for inhaling and exhaling a sound will be very similar to the hissing snake or a snoring baby if you see how nicely the babies breathe then this is exactly how the sound is going to get produced so let's do around uh five rounds of ujjayi breaths just to get the familiarity with this practice let's begin keeping your eyes closed again your awareness on your natural breathing any mudra of your choice dhyana mudra observing your natural breath and now slowly you can start ujjayi inhalations and exhalation there is no count for this breathing it will be very personal and different for each one of you so you can follow your own pace the deeper it is the better it is while doing the jay with your closed eyes listen to the sound of your own breathing that can immediately bring us to the relaxed state present moment and will make us more mindful once if you're done with your five rounds stay there observing your natural breathing now through nostrils keeping your eyes closed let's visualize the affirmation as if we are writing on the blackboard and we are reading it ourselves every day i chose to do things that nourish all the layers of my existence my body my prana my mind my intellect every day i chose to do the things that nourish all the layers of my existence body prana mind 
intelligence. You can repeat this affirmation any time throughout the day during any actions that you do, reminding yourself about it. Let's now chant universal peace prayers for the well-being of all around us in the mood of gratitude to all those who have been helping us throughout our lives. Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha Sarve santu niramaya Sarve bhadrani pashyantu Ma kashchit dukha bhag bhave Generating some nice prana energy, warmth, cupping your eyes or massaging your face, opening your eyes inside the palms and gently bringing your hands down. Let us surrender today's practice to the Supreme Lord and let us pray for the well-being of all around us. Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu may all beings be happy. Thank you very much for joining in today and something that I frequently uh, get the question so I thought I will address that in a tip today so many of you have been asking and even others have been asking sometimes that uh, can I do pranayam at night just to fall properly asleep or to get a nice relaxed sleep so yes you can but not all of them so there are some tranquilizing practices that we are doing in our day-to-day -day basis even in the class so few of them uh, you can do uh, before sleeping or while being on the bed or while lying down as well. So what are the practices that are tranquilizing in nature that will in fact will bring you the better quality of sleep and that is Ujjayi that we have we have learnt yesterday. So Ujjayi breathing can be done in the sitting position, in the standing position, in the lying down position, while you are working, while doing asanas. So as I said it's a versatile breath work. So Ujjayi is definitely going to relax you and can help you with the better quality of sleep uh, also if you face a problem before sleeping of being very hyperactive in nature especially vata prakriti and i have a personal experience of this my prakriti is vata pitta by nature so sometimes whatever it is even positive thoughts or negative thoughts sometimes before sleeping a lot of ideas can come or you know the mind is everywhere but you really want the mind to now shut down and focus on the sleep so that time personally to me ujjayi breathing in lying down position or a deep abdominal breathing is a second practice that you can do or even brahmari can be done while you sit but don't do brahmari while lying down you can do brahmari also like just before lying down you can do some maybe seven rounds ten rounds eleven rounds depending on the nature of your insomnia or sleeplessness and then you can lie down so the tranquilizing pranayam like ujjayi deep breaths and brahmari can be definitely practiced uh, even before uh, going to bed for improving the quality of sleep people suffering with hyper you know hyper activity mind or any anxiety related issues insomnia can be is highly recommended before the sleep okay so thank you very much for joining in today and i will see you all tomorrow namaste